Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on calculating bounds of a number truncated to a given number of decimal places. Now a number is truncated to two decimal places to give 5.36. Determine the lower and upper bounds of that number. Now let's remind ourselves what the word truncated means. So for example, if I had 5.36 seven, eight, two, and I was to truncate that to two decimal places, what that means is we look at the first two digits after decimal place, and now if we're rounding to two decimal places, we'd check the digit after. Is that five above? Yes, it is, so that would become 5.37. But this is truncating to two decimal places. And that's actually simpler than rounding. All we do is we look at the first two digits, the three and the six, but we don't check the digit after. We just simply discard it, and that would be 5.36. So we can see that if we had some original number and we truncated it to two decimal places, that would give us this desired number of 5.36. So then the question is, What's the lower and upper bound of this number? That means what's the largest and what's the smallest our number could have been that would have truncated to 5.36, to two decimal places. Well, we can get up quite high, can't we? We can get 5.369, and if we truncate that to two decimal places, we keep the first two digits after decimal place, discard everything after, that would still be 5.36. And we could keep on adding nines on the end, so we could have 5.36999999, etc. So it seems to be that we could have anything up to, but not including, 5.37. Because 5.36999999 is effectively equivalent to 5.37. So the upper bound is going to be 5.37. And now even though 5.37 truncates two decimal places is 5.37, we actually, with the upper bound, think of the number just a smidge below it, so infinitesimally close to 5.37, but just below it. What about the lower bound? If we had, for example, 5.361 and we truncated it to two decimal places, well, we'd look at the first two digits, discard everything after, it would be 5.36. And 5.36 itself, with a, I know, zero on the end, that also truncates to 5.36. But anything lower, like 5.359, for example, when truncated to decimal places, we would discard the 9, give them 5.35. So that's not 5.36, so that's too low. So it seems to be that this number here is the lower bound. So the lower bound would be 5.36. And to summarise, when we truncate to a given number of decimal places, the lower bound will be the number itself. So this is 5.36, the lower bound will be the same. And to get the upper bound, we just add the accuracy. So if the accuracy is two decimal places, that accuracy is effectively 0.01, because that's the hundredth digit. It's the second digit after the decimal place. So all we do to get the upper bound is we add this accuracy to the number, so we add the accuracy and that gives us the upper bound.